Jeff here with Mr. Hardwater. Once you've chosen the correct pressure washer for your operation, the next thing to do is to choose the correct blast head configuration that's going to work best for your job. Now at Mr. Hardwater, we provide a variety of different configurations to make your job easier and more efficient. We offer uh, the blast heads and the guns that, are, that vary from uh, short, medium to long. So behind me are the selections that are available um, to you uh, to make your jobs uh, easier and uh, quicker. So the first thing to show you here are the heads themselves. We have two different uh, types of heads. We have a zero degree head and a 15 degree head. Now in subsequent videos, we're gonna show more detail on the actual spray patterns of those heads to give you an idea of how they're gonna work on the surface. But for now, this video is going to provide a brief comparison of the different configurations of the heads and trigger handles and the guns themselves. So one thing to consider is our base model uh, for the blast head comes in just the head itself. And that would be these items right here. You can see here that we have our zero degree head and we have our 15 degree head. Now these uh, parts can be purchased either separately or together as a combo and each of these comes with all of the components um, inside, for example the nozzle tips and it also uh, comes with the cleaning brushes and even the uh, quarter inch steel plug that can be used for a quick connect. So these are uh, our base model offerings and these are really what's going to help you get your job done. Once you've chosen the type of uh, head you're going to be working with, the next thing to do is to put it on a lance and a trigger handle and that creates your gun assembly. So let's suppose that you want a very short um, assembly uh, so that you can lean over a pool or do some very detailed work. What you would choose in that case is you would choose one of these short guns So here's our two short guns here. We've got a handle, we've got a two inch connector, and then we've got our head. And this is uh, the most compact configuration that we offer today, and this is ideal for leaning over the pool or doing some detailed work. Now this two inch nipple here that you see is also included in this, the uh, individual head combinations so that you can connect them up to your trigger handle if you have one. So consider these as uh, as an important tool if you want to do some close-up work. The next gun configuration we have is our standard uh, configuration and that is this gun here. These guns here include our 28 inch 28 inch molded handle. The molded handle is nice because you can really grasp onto this and hold it um, while you're working out in the field. Our, uh, these guns also contain a side handle which help you to stabilize the gun um, as you're working with it. It comes with a trigger handle here and then this pipe here is a quarter inch uh, plated pipe and then from here what you do is you can screw on the uh, blast heads. Notice here on these guns that this is a direct connection. We don't use any quick connect fittings on this gun to make it safer and more, uh, uh, more uh, a tighter assembly so we don't have any leakage, etc. So these are going to be your standard workhorse guns um, for a lot of different type of work you're going to do. Pool tile, um, stone, etc. And then finally, if you're not a professional and you don't have these uh, customized guns, what you can do is use the gun that comes with your pressure washer, like so. Now you'll notice that these guns here are about a foot longer than the, uh, the guns that we offer. Those are, have a 28 inch molded handle and this is uh, quite a bit longer because this is a general purpose, more for the consumer type of gun. These are generally assembled uh, by the homeowner or the user and they come in two different parts. Uh, this particular gun came with the Simpson 4200 and what we've had to do here to add our blast head onto it is we've had to use our quick connect fittings because the quick connect fittings just go on to here and the reason we have to use a quick connect fitting here is because 
at the factory at Simpson, um, what they'll do is they use a, a Loctite thread compound and they put these, uh, these spring-loaded quick connects on there so tight that they're very, very hard to get off. Now, if you are able to get these off, then what you could do is you could basically thread this uh, blast head right onto the, um, to the quarter inch uh, lance here and you'll have a really great connection. Otherwise, you're going to have to use the quick connect fitting that comes with the blast head and put it on like this. One thing you'll notice too that in order to maintain the correct orientation, what you're going to have to use is use a quick tie to tie it up in the upright position. Because what we want is we want the handle like this and we want this like this. So the only way to keep this upright like that is to use a couple quick ties to keep it in place. Otherwise, the head's going to go upside down. And if that's the case, during operation, water's going to flow through here and it's going to um, interact with the dry media that's trying to flow this way through the tube and it's going to get blocked, it's going to get wet and blocked and uh, you're going to have to dry out the hose and it's going to create a problem for you. So if you're using this configuration, which really isn't that recommended, uh, remember to use a quick connect and use a couple twist ties and keep it in the upright position. So in summary then, in summary then, we have a variety of different uh, configurations for the blast heads that connect onto uh, different size lances and different trigger guns.